Fritz Lang's 1931 thriller named M has probably not looked this good within the living memory of most people. Even my Laserdisc version of an earlier version of this film is scratched and faded, and the subtitles are sparse. But now, this restored version translates more of the dialogue, makes it easier to follow the story of a child killer played by Peter Lorre, who in this early performance establishes his lifelong screen image as a psychopath. Onkel! Was denn? Du hast dich ja ganz weiß gemacht. Wo denn? Da, auf der Schulter. And look at this amazing shot of the faces of the city's criminals who have captured the killer and now sit in judgment on him. Du hast da was von Recht gesprochen. Dir soll dein Recht werden. Hier sitzen lauter Sachverständige in Rechtsfragen. Von sechs Wochen Tegel bis 15 Jahre Brandenburg. And now look at a scene from another masterpiece about a loner who's a killer. Le Samurai, directed by Jean-Pierre Melville in 1967 in France, stars Alain Delon in his best screen performance as an assassin for hire. And Melville's visuals place him at the center of a cold and personal world. Aucune importance. Que voulez-vous? Vous tuez. Here's a famous sequence often imitated from Le Samurai as the killer evades police in a cat and mouse chase on the French subway. Contact rompu. Il est descendu sur le quai de Jourdain. Rétablissez contact à tout prix. Looking at movies like these, you can see the roots of so many later films and you can see greatness. M is unforgettable above all because of its faces. Faces of the police, the criminals, and the killer who all seem to rank about the same in Fritz Lang's estimation. And Le Samurai is a fascinating study of the existential hero, a man who has no reason to live or die and exists only to be consistent with his code. houses they'll both soon be available on video and we're talking about greatness and you've nailed exactly why when i saw the shot the great shot in the courtroom i thought of all the movies that we may mm -hmm. see today that never show the people yes the background of most movies today and i know we hammer extras American movies, they're extras it or it's wallpaper or mm -hmm. high-tech metal mm -hmm. there there is not an interest in yeah humanity Mm -hmm. And Fritz Lang was clearly interested in that. Now we jump ahead to Melville, The Human Condition, The Existential Man. This is one of the most influential films in film history, whether people working today know it or not. Because it's influenced them through all of the imitations. Exactly right. And this man, who was so quiet and so ungiving of himself and of his secrets and of his thoughts, forces us to think about him, to try to read his mind, that's and that's a fascinating process. And that's process. because, here's another thing that's missing in movies today, the quiet, I'm talking about the visual quiet, the opening sequence mm -hmm. in The Samurai is one of the great sequences oh, in the movies you watch because that. you come up to the screen because no one's throwing fast edits on you or explosions. It's amazing, you look at the movie for about three minutes before you realize there's a person in the shot. Yes. And when, you, when he takes a drag of his cigarette and you think there's a man on that bed, it's, it's as great a moment as any explosion yes. or car no, crash. Greater. Be of course. Because yeah. you're... Think of what happened visually. And I hope the directors out in Hollywood will listen and will watch the picture, obviously, more than listen to us. That your mind in the audience, you're up on the screen, you're searching the image. What am I seeing? Yes. Your yes. focus is yes. with the film, yes. not with leaning back as they throw stuff at you. Yes. 